Hi, I'm Brian Preach, we're doing high school biology. Today's topic, the immune system. The immune system is the body's defense against infection by things like viruses, by things like bacteria, by things like protists, and sometimes even itself in the case of cancer. Let's take a look. First off, we have the non-specific defenses. These defend against everything, and the first line of defense is pretty much the skin. Yes, it's pretty hard to get through the skin. You can try it. It's difficult. The body also secretes things like mucus, saliva, and tears. All of these have little enzymes in them which will help break down invaders. And also the oily environment on the skin can also stop bacteria and other things from living there and getting past that first line of defense. Okay, but let's say you get past the first line of defense. Let's say you penetrate the skin or something like that. Then we get to the second line of defense. This is the inflammatory response. The blood vessels near the site of infection will start expanding and millions upon millions of white blood cells will rush to the area. These are called phagocytes. Pretty much what they do is they eat the infection. They will wrap themselves around whatever is causing it and then digest it on the inside. Also, the body temperature will elevate. This is a fever, which can actually help kill off some bacteria because they can't live in those conditions. All right, now let's say you've even made it past that. Let's say the infection is growing. You finally start hitting the specific defenses. This is triggered by antigens, little chemicals that can hurt you, created by whatever enters the body, things like bacteria, viruses, or protists. Okay, now here we have two different types of immunity. Humoral immunity, this is immunity for infections that are in bodily fluids, and cell-mediated immunity, which is for infections in cells, things like viruses and parasitic protists, and even cancer. Let's look at humoral immunity first. This creates B cells. Now there'll be two types of B cells here. Plasma B cells and memory B cells. Plasma B cells will produce these things called antibodies. These will bond to antigen sites and attack the things that are causing the infection. Once that thing is finally fought off, you'll have memory B cells, which remember the right antibodies to be produced. Because your body doesn't know. It'll just produce random antibodies until it finds the right one and it keeps those memory B cells. What about cell mediated immunity? This involves T cells. And here we have four different types of T cells killer T cells. These just go and kill the infection. They see a cell infected by something, kills it right away. Kills the pathogen, kills the cell, killer T cells. Then we have helper T cells. These will figure out which T cell is doing the job right and create memory T cells so it can fight off the infection more efficiently next time. Then we have the suppressor T cells. Once the infection is coming under control, they'll start suppressing the killer cells because otherwise they'll go on a rampage and kill everything else. And finally, the memory T cells, these are produced by the helper T cells. Again, they'll simply help fight off the infection should it return. To recap, the immune system has nonspecific defenses and specific defenses. The nonspecific defense, first line defense, skin. Also, bodily secretions such as mucus, saliva, tears, and oils. These make it very difficult for infection to get into the body or to live there. If you get past the first line, you enter the second line of defense, the inflammatory response. The body produces lots of white blood cells phagocytes, which will simply engulf the infection and digest it. It also has a fever and raising body temperature to try and kill off whatever is living there. And we have the specific defenses, triggered by antigens, which are produced by whatever is infecting the body. We have two types, humoral immunity and cell-mediated immunity. Humoral immunity is for infections in bodily fluids. Here we have B cells, two types. Plasma B cells, these will create antibodies at random. The antibodies, if correct, will bond to the antigens and ultimately attack the infection. Once the right antibodies are found, the memory B cells will be kept to remember how to fight off the infection and the right antibodies to use. Cell-mediated immunity is for infections within cells, such as viruses and protists. Here we work with T cells. Killer T cells will kill off whatever is infected, cells and the pathogen. Helper T cells, which will create memory T cells to remember which T cells did the right job, later on and fight off the infection more efficiently. Suppressor T cells. Once the fight starts coming under control, the infection starts coming under control, the suppressor T cells will end the work of the killer T cells and the body will restore itself to normal. And we've already talked about memory T cells, again, simply produced by helper T cells to remember how to fight off the infection. Right, that's all for now. Again, I'm Brad Freer. See you next time.